Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So it's official. Today is day one of Blue Girls Club season five. BGC? Yeah. BGC? BGC! Pulling up to the BGC headquarters. Okay, so today... Blueface's mom, Carlissa, got so mad at the fact that he told a story from when he was a child of her fighting her friend. So I personally didn't see the story, but I seen Carlissa go live and she went off and she was mainly attacking Krishan. She basically went back to calling Krishan evil and saying that she's an animal and she must be a demon if she can get rid of three babies in one year. But keep in mind, Carlissa was the one who once said that Krishan was lying about being pregnant. Out that inside three times in a year, bro. You lying with some serious, like your daddy nobody. Your head and on go is go. You don't know what that is. That's why your mechanics and football and boxing is taught and learned, son. Because you're just not an animal. You don't. You 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 got it in you a little bit, you know, from us and your brother. But you just don't have that. And I understand you in search for it. And maybe that's what your physical, you know, trait is for this demon spawn that you searching and going through. I feel you. Like you want that. You want that. What we have. But I tell you, son, you don't want that. You just want to live a regular life. You have children now. You don't want that instinct that we have because, you know, we were brought into the world by people that weren't prepared for us. Me and your father were prepared for you. We prayed for you. We, we, we sought out to have you. We, we, we made love to make you, son. Your father wanted you. Your father was 30 years old before he got a child. You were a gift from God to your father. And look how you make in his name. Your father named you and birthed you for purpose, okay? You can't be like us. You can't be just a random seed like, ah, I'm here. You can't, you just, you don't, it's just not that way for you. I'm sorry, son. You know, you and Callie have parents who, you know, were of different uh, caliber. You know what I'm saying? Me and Andre, we came from the trenches. That's where, you know, y'all kind of getting it from. And there's no excitement. There's no love to it. I'm telling you, like, you don't want this animal inside you that you laying next to. You don't, you don't really want that. I know it seems exciting to get on the phone because <laughs> we need to talk seriously today. Here, yeah, mom. Who does that? I don't know how to add nobody. So y'all have to tell him to pop on here and talk to me about it. And we don't need, we don't need the, uh, <laughs> we don't need the demon spawn to join him. We don't need, we don't need it. We need the person who, who was there to hop on here. Okay. Now if his dad want to pop on here, if Miss Jaden want to pop on here, they can pop on here because they my witnesses. Of how hard I worked. You letting a little demon spawn twist you up in a knot over there. About $40. Still laying in them covers that Jaden bought. Ain't them the ain't them the birth the Christmas covers Jaden bought you? At least get some new sheets. Yeah, who who who, who we calling her? Yeah, little boy. <laughs> I done had about enough of your shit. For real. I wake up and I'm a crackhead. Mm -mm. You need to hop on here and give somebody an apology. Play with your toys later, okay? Because you don't play with me. Yes, hop on here and talk to your mama like a like a man. Cause you over there waddling it right now. Looking sh I don't even know what. <laughs> you ain't even looking cute. You looking a f Let's talk about it. You over there in dirty sheets, pimples all on your face, laid up with somebody who don't even wash the sheets, the dog waddling and poop outside and bringing it inside. Boy, you don't want to play with me. You do not want to play with me.
I don't, I, I don't even know who you are right now. Tell Mr. Blueface to get on the phone and talk that talk on this phone. And we're going to put Mr. Heather on here that my, my whole family ended up having to jump in because she took my weave, wrapped it around my neck like so, and almost choked me out. So my whole family was there and had to do what they had to do. But you're not ever going to patch over and tell me to kiss your behind because you had too much to drink in front of my grandma. It's go time. Especially when you, this is, now mind y'all, this was like 15 years ago, okay? It was his like eighth or ninth birthday. He bringing us stuff because he can't find nothing to recollect. He bringing up stuff from when he was like eight years old, y'all. Tell him to hop on here and tell the whole story my girlfriend had a little bit too much to drink and i don't play the disrespect in front of my grandma rest her soul and i got active okay you get out here getting active for weird stuff okay with weirdos my friend for 30 years we laughs about it today because we grown women and we all have some situations. But don't try to act like we was over there and it was a bad deal that went bad and me and the homies just packed my friend out. Tell the truth. I don't know nothing about this over here. You didn't have to survive mentally. Okay, you had to throw a ball and try to get to college. That what you land with? Partner, you not ready for that or at all. You're not even ready for her siblings. You hear me? You're not ready for that. You don't know nothing about that animal that lives inside that person. That's crying out, pretending, oh, Jesus Christ. You don't know nothing about that, boo. I'm telling you, you don't want to play with that. Okay? It took me a many, a many a years to get that out of my system. And this still, it, it treads. So that trauma that you over there laying with, you need to be trying to get where you're supposed to be. And get back on what you're supposed to be doing. Because you're not ready for that. Okay? That's a whole nother animal for you. I guarantee you, you don't know how many people you're dealing with over there. And I can guarantee you, it's ten of them, about seven of them you ain't even met yet. Okay? I had a talk with that young lady. Which is why I tried to pull you out that system. You're not ready for that system. Okay? That's a whole nother system. She went to jail and ate that food. You hear me? She ain't even blink at it. It, it didn't smell good. It didn't taste good. She ate that sh Okay? You, I guarantee you she ate it. I guarantee you she walked right in like, where the food at? Been there, done that, know everything about it. Ran the whole prison. You are sleeping with the enemy right now and you don't even know it. But I tried to tell you and I tried to warn you. From a perspective who's been there, who knows that system, and you don't know nothing about it, boo. You're not ready for that animal. So what you need to do after today is stop letting that demonic spirit roam around and talk about your mom and get to where your shoes is at. Okay? Because they're not over there no more. We moved them. So that what you're doing right now, boo, is not good. It's not healthy. It's not going to help you. None. You need to get back in. The fact that she just came for her son so hard over speaking about his childhood is crazy to me. How does she expect him to know how to be treated when this is how his own mother treats him? And she actually just came for Krishan unprovoked because Krishan didn't say anything. It was Blueface talking about his childhood. I personally feel like she is messy as hell for this, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching.